Robert, it could happen overnight, is what you're saying. It's happening. The crash has already started. XRP レーチャーがもうずっと10年以上実績のあるブロックチェーンとして安定して稼働しているというこの安定性そして信用度というのもすごく大きいのではないかなと思います。What we did was we gave these failed banks some XRP and asked them to settle with within themselves and and it worked beautifully. But then they came back and said, you know what, this works beautifully and we would love to adopt it, but we cannot. Our credit suisse went bankrupt. Nobody says anything. So called the safest bank in the world, credit suisse is bankrupt. But we can't see it. And so what's happening is that it starts keeps crashing, but we can't see it. The Flare Time Series Oracle provides access to up to 1,000 data feeds updated every one to two seconds. These feeds cover data sources that change over time, such as cryptocurrency asset prices, stocks, and even temperature. The Flare Data Connector can prove whether an event has happened on a different blockchain, such as transactions or internet databases like sports and results. Know what you hold? Enjoy the ride, pal. If you got a baggie, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news. No breakfast, no coffee. Just straight extra, extra. Bullishness. Shout out to the latest. So appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Go ahead. Throw on those moon suits. Throw on those pilot shades. Buckle up. Because the future's extra, extra. Bullish. Let's go full speed, full throttle into the crypto verse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today right around 2.01 trillion, up about 0.3% in the past. 24. We got XRP currently right around 52, 53 cents. Stellar XLM 0.088. We got BTC right around 54K. We got ETH right around 22, 23. Hundo, we got Flare Networks right around 0.01. XDC right around 0.026. We got Axelar right around 50 cents. Songbird 0066. Stronghold 004. We got Zahao right around 0.028. Evernote 0.08. Jewel token back up to 6 cents. Taking a look at all coin season, still in Bitcoin season here at a 27. We need to be above a 75 for it to be a full blown. All coin season. We got Ripple X dev to pop things off. Developers have been creating a groundbreaking blockchain applications on the XRP ledger for over a decade. And now it's your turn. If you're a Japanese company or developer ready to dive into Web3, apply for the Japan XRP ledger fund. XRP レーチャーがもうずっと10年以上実績のあるブロックチェーンとして安定して稼働しているというこの安定性そして信用度というのもすごく大きいのではないかなと思います。日本においてはやはり特に XRP レジャーの思想やミッション、ビジョンにすごく共鳴する人が多いんではないかなと思っていて、機能に非常に簡単にアクセスできるということから、まあ、その簡易性、そして安全性、そして実績。そういったものが、あの、エクサピレチャーの一つ大きな差別化点になるかなと思います。日本のコミュニティにおいて、開発者の育成だったり、またはそのハッカソンなどの開催などを行っています。特にこの1年間、クリエイターコミュニティというところですと、非常に大きく成長してきていて、また、その、昨年からいろいろ行っているハッカソンなどでも、開発者っていう部分で、Once again, if you're a Japanese company developer ready to dive into Web3, apply for the Japan XRP. Ledger Fund. We got Coindesk Rubble plans to add OX, Polygon, Ethereum compatible smart contracts via the new sidechain to XRP Ledger, expanding its functionality beyond basic transactions. XRP. One true killer app. Chad Steingraber. They are the ones who said it. XRP. To give you some, some context, in 2017, What we did was we piloted with 12 banks. We said, hey, these 12 banks were、uh, based across、uh, regions、uh, throughout the globe and they did not have pre-funded relationships with each other. What we did was we gave these 12 banks some XRP and asked them to settle with, within themselves. And, and it worked beautifully. But then they came back and said, you know what? This works beautifully and we would love to adopt it, but we cannot. And the, precisely the exact reason, just you mentioned about Basel's recapital requirements, regulatory uncertainty, and so on. So they said that A, it's volatile. B, there are no set of regulations. So we cannot hold those assets in our books. 
So we actually went back to the drawing board and said, okay, look, how how do we how do we change this? Which is why we came up with this product called X Rapid, uh, and uh, and again to. I absolutely agree with Lisa. Uh, where so we actually piloted instead of piloting with big banks, we piloted with the uh, uh, big uh, payment providers because they were more willing to do this. And uh, and you know what? It actually now works because they don't have to hold the digital asset on their books, but using the piece of software XRP, they can actually connect to a digital asset exchange, convert fiat to uh, XRP real time, and then. Uh, XRP to fiat uh, in real time in the other leg, and the entire transaction happens in three seconds, and so they, there is no case of volatility risk as well. Um, and I think to your point, just one more point for any adoption of any technology, I think the intersection of three points is really, really important: financial services, technology, and regulations. I think uh, since the time Bitcoin was implemented, there was this notion that down with banks, down with central banks, Bitcoin was replaced fiat currency. Clearly, that has not happened. And I think what's important really is, and that's something that Ripple has taken uh, into its approach by collaborating with regulators and central banks across. Price then regulation, or regulations then price. Remember, Big Brad Garland House said, even though with the case clarity, banks and financial institutions still don't want to use digital assets because there's no broader regulations in the United States. We got IMT trading. The stock market crash is happening. I mean, do you have any feeling as to? When the timing, when it could hit, Robert, I mean, you saw what happened the first week of August, right? We had the crash, we had a crash, and then everything kind of went away in the span of 48 hours or less than 48 hours. I mean, was that just a, a prelude of things to come? I mean, what's going to what's gonna bring down the system? Well, again, what, what Records is saying here is really accurate. You know, he's just, he says you can't see it. That's the problem. And the biggest markets in the world are the bond markets. And you have every, ask any financial planner, oh, should I buy bonds? Yes, they're safe. And the whole thing is coming down because it's all corrupt. And so that's why for all these years, it's gold and silver. I own gold mines, silver mines, all that stuff. Robert, it could happen overnight is what you're saying. It's happening. The crash has already started. As Record said, we entered a depression in 2008. Uh, that, again, you know, he's a smart boy. Definition of a, defini- of a depression is subprime growth. So America and the world has not grown. You know, like he talks about here, how Credit Suisse went bankrupt. Nobody says anything. So call the safest bank in the world. Credit Suisse is bankrupt. But we can't see it. And so what's happening is that it starts, keeps crashing, but we can't see it. And that's why all these years is gold, silver, I had Bitcoin to it. I'm a big silver bull, as you know, I own silver mines. I started, uh, you know, we have a mine in uh, Utah, the biggest, richest gold mine in America today. So I'm a hardcore believer of gold and silver, real money, not fake money. And while the 99% continue to sleep, the 1% diamond hands continue to load up on the greatest opportunity. Multiple lifetimes, the longer they take, the higher we climb. On that XRP rich list, it all started. It's all coming down while the XRP holders are going up. We got one from Flare Networks. Over 1 million wallets holding Flare. Here's what you need to know as a Flare holder. 66 million Flare just burned as part of our 2.1 billion burn plan to strengthen the ecosystem. Flare drop point one nineteen is coming in two hours. A thirty six month airdrop program for our active community. New R Flare reward epoch just started with with five hundred and ten million Flare incentives in total for DeFi participation. FTF rewards are claimable every three and a half days. Flare token is our way to foster an open community and alliance incentives with you. Flare networks. Another one from Flare networks. Flare networks explained in. Three minutes. Flare is designed to provide blockchain applications with access to all the data they need when they need it for free. All applications need data. It's easy to access that data if it's stored on the same blockchain as the application, such as transactions or wallet balances. And this data is protected by the security of the blockchain itself. But if this data is stored somewhere else, whether it's information from another blockchain or internet data, such as the score of a recent football game, it can become more complicated. 
This is especially true as the data demand for blockchain applications are increasing with the growth of on-chain AI and real-world assets. To access this sort of external data, applications need oracles. And different oracle models exist with different levels of decentralization. The more decentralized an oracle, the more secure and censorship resistant it is, making it much harder to attack. Now, financial dApps often rely on oracles for prices. If the data feed from an oracle is incorrect or not updated on time, it can give hackers a way to steal user funds from any dApps using that oracle. Flare is unique in the blockchain industry because its oracles are enshrined in the network. That means Flare's oracles are an integral part of the blockchain code and protected by the decentralization and security guarantees of the network. The same 100 validators responsible for network consensus are also responsible for delivering the data on chain. And in fact, the validators cannot earn rewards unless they provide high quality data. These features make Flare's oracles more decentralized and more secure than many alternatives. And because they are native to the Flare blockchain, dApps built on Flare can access data for free instead of paying fees to separate off-chain oracles. The Flare Time Series Oracle provides access to up to 1,000 data feeds updated every one to two seconds. These feeds cover data sources that change over time, such as cryptocurrency asset prices, stocks, and even temperature. The Flare Data Connector can prove whether an event has happened on a different blockchain, such as transactions or internet databases like Sports and Results. DApps need data, and to have the confidence that this data will be accurate, available, when they need it, up to date and secure, they need a blockchain like Flare. And that's why Flare is the blockchain for data. Shout out to Flare Networks and all the Flare OG holders out there. If you held on to your Flare song word as the Flare ecosystems continues to expand, continues to develop. If you didn't know and you're new to the crypto space about three, four years ago, there was a snapshot for your XRP holdings. And based off your XRP holdings, there is a free Flare song word airdrop. Shout out to everybody who held on all the OGs out there. Flare Networks song word. Thomas Doyle, did you claim your rewards from Tipper XRP out today? It's easy. Just connect your wallet. Hold listed entities, click one button and done. Don't forget to claim your daily rewards over on Tipper. We got the Tipper faucet with RDC. Links will be down below. Hold 3,500 RDC, get 50 per day. Hold 25K, get 150 per day. Hold 75K, get 250 RDC per day. All you got to do is connect your wallet, hit claim now, and then wait for the rewards to hit. All you got to do is watch the ad. You can also hit the daily NFT faucet here for all the NFT holders out there. All you got to do is hold one NFT in the ecosystem and 1000 RDC and you get 100 RDC you can claim per day. Tipper. Check out tipper-x.com. I'll leave the links down below. We got Stellar Org, amazing convo, no bias. Money moves differently now thanks to big players like Circle. Santa and feeding some charts to close out as traders await a potential Bitcoin crypto rebound. Cardano, Quant, and Holo are the three notable assets seeing a sudden surge in address activity. When coins that are declining in value suddenly see rises like these, it historically raises the likelihood of a bounce. We got one from CoinsKid at the moment for Heath. We've seen a clear five-way move into the high of the March this year from the low of the October last year. ETH is currently retracing that five-way move up in a potential macro ABC correction. It has currently found support on the 0 0.0618. It may dip lower. If it does, I'll buy more. If we see ETH breach the low of last summer, the 0FIB at 1515, then it will invalidate this perfect setup that is currently playing out and I will exit my positions. We got mustache, Bitcoin, buy signal, 2016, 2020, buy signal in 2024. As you can see, there was a bull market after every buy signal in the monthly chart of BTC. Corrections after this signal can happen, but what comes after that? Pure joy. An Agra crypto, XRP 540 day ranging since March 13th, 2024. If you're getting shaken out by these tiny moves, you don't deserve the massive mega pumps that are coming. XRP army. Stay ready. The longer they take, the higher we climb on that XRP. Rich list. Let our friend know that the greatest opportunity, the multiple lifetimes are still at hand. With the trains left the station, tick tock, tick tock. Where will those bags be when that regulation jar of molasses finally breaks open and XRP's true price is finally revealed? Later, glitches. We are not 
done, just having some fun Just getting started, the flip of the switch And you thought you could short it Burning the escrow, now there's been a shortage So many digits, now you can't afford it We up in the sky, price jumping like Jordan Can't have enough bags, all we do is hoard it We saw, we saw, you probably sell a few organs So many accounts, threw away all my ledgers We hold the keys, we hold the treasures Get off them exchanges in BYOB Surf on the waves, don't get caught in the weeds And we finally blow, we financially free We throw in a party, we waking the sheep We all going ghosts to the islands we feed We cannot die, we all